Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through the Mammon example, and that will show you some basic calculations. So in this case, we have a stock savers club called Mammon, and they've bought a bunch of shares in um, some companies there, and the buy rate is here, and the current value is there, and now we're going to calculate what they bought the stocks for what the current value is and how much they've made or lost during that. So this is maths. We're going to do multiplication and pluses and minuses. That's about it. Always when we do a calculation, we start with the equal sign. And then we do the number of stocks in this case. And we multiply that by the buy rate. That will give, you, give us the buy value total. And these are, of course, all dollars so let's just put all this in dollars there we go and i don't need any decimal points on that and now this formula is actually calculating the value uh, two steps to the left multiplied by the number three steps to the left and that's what's called a relative reference that means if i escape out of that now and just pull down that's going to give me all the correct formulas here because as you see, I'm calculating all the way on the same row here. And then of course I can do an auto sum here to summarize all of those values. So we see that the club has actually bought for 248,020. And the current value is the number of stocks. Start with equals here of course. Number of stocks multiplied by the current value. Right, then we press enter there, and again we can fill this down all the way down there. And this we can actually fill to the right because it's always going to do a summary of the ones above here. So we can fill that to the right. So there we see now that the current value is 244,050. So we see directly here that they have actually lost some money here. Anyhow, we're going to keep counting. This is not filled out because this is still just uh, text there. So now we're going to calculate the current value minus the buy value. And that will give us a 13,800 profit on the AGA stock there. Let's pull this down all the way because again, we're having relative formulas. So you see we're calculating on the same row there. So that gives us, as we saw, a loss of 4000 close to $4,000. Thank you for watching this demonstration.